businesses shuttered during the pandemic, the D.C.-based company expanded its team by 20 percent with a new goal in mind, more women in leadership roles. CBS News correspondent Chris Van Cleve has the story. The story of any city can be told by the signs decorating its landscape. And the story behind these signs is being written by women like Lenore Vocal, a single mom from Bolivia. It's hard to get to start it, but when you see the final thing, it's like a, you feel happy. She works for Gelberg Signs. Over the last eight decades, their designs have become iconic in the nation's capital. Instead of cutting back when the pandemic hit their business, they grew nearly 20 percent. So it's a risk, right? And that's business. We were saying, you're amazing, you're creative, you have what we need. We know you just lost a job. We can bring you on. Many of those hires were women. And while women only make up about 10 percent of construction and fabrication jobs, Gelberg's staff is nearly double that. And in many departments, women are the boss. Women are often innate teachers. They want the people around them to understand. They want the people around them to feel capable to rise to the next level. By bringing in more women, what has that gained your business? We've gained a company culture that understands different situations, that can read different situations, that is empathetic. A culture showing change can be good for business. Chris Van Cleve, CBS News, Washington. Thanks for watching. CBSN AM begins after the break. I'm Lana Zak, and you're streaming CBSN. An original documentary on CBSN. I was entitled to equal pay or equal work.